Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Janine A. Golia and I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark platform and eBay. Um, I have a haul video for you coming up and I'm about to go into a local thrift store. Um, I've never really um, gone in there to with the intention of looking for items to sell in my posh closet but today I will be hopefully they will be okay with me filming myself shopping in there so that we can do a shop together and then we'll have a haul later it might be a bad haul there might not be much to look at in here or it might be absolutely wonderful I'm hoping to find some vintage stuff in here so cross your fingers for me and let's go ahead and jump into the um, shopping Okay, I just got out of Compassion House in Wimber and I picked up a hell of a lot of stuff. Not that many clothes in all of this. Uh, I don't know what happened in there. I just felt like trying a little bit of everything and I only spent $18 and change. So I think um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and I'm going to unload and then I'm going to hit um, my local Salvation Army. And then possibly Goodwill because I'm feeling like I am feeling the thrift today so <laughs> might as well just keep going all right so I will get back to you in a minute okay round two ding ding
Okay, we are back after that um, little shopping trip that we took. Um, I hit two places. To I went to Goodwill and I went to my local thrift store, Compassion House, and I picked up $110 worth of stuff. I haven't counted out how many items I actually did pick up, but through the magic of television, I will put those numbers here for you. Not bad. I know I didn't do bad because I picked up two huge bags full of stuff and I have a little bit of everything in this haul. So if you want to, please take a moment to pause this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, get yourself something to eat because this is going to be a long one. Let's have ourselves a little mukbang. You guys can eat and I can show you what I picked up. Oh, and if you're wondering, why am I wearing a wig? I didn't like what my hair was doing today. So this is the solution for today. My pink lost in translation wig. Hope you don't mind and I hope it's not too distracting for you. All right, let's get started. I picked up this racing jacket, this nicely distressed racing leather jacket. Um, this is a Wilson's leather jacket and I thought it was so cool because of the distressing on it. This is a size small and it even has like a really cool racing lining inside. So I'm thinking of listing this on eBay for like $45 because I noticed that the biker stuff really goes for good money on eBay. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. Size small women's. I picked this up because I saw Reese and Mary Ellen pick these up and she was selling them for insane prices. Um, this is a embroidery kit and I couldn't figure out the Roman numerals there. I'm not great with Roman numerals, so um, I, I'm sure this kit is probably from like 1978 or 79, something like that, maybe early 80s. Um, but I found this at the Compassion House and like their prices are insane. They're insane. I, I, I walked out, to, out of there with a cart full of stuff and I had only paid like $18 and change. So yeah, so I picked that up. Hopefully that will do well. I really didn't check comps very much on any of this stuff because I, I was like being really lazy. Also, I left my phone in my car. So I was like, I'm not gonna go back out there to get my phone to check comps in this place. So um, I just, I, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna lose much if I lose anything. I'll give it a shot and work on my intuition. That's what I did. Okay, I picked up this vintage Woolrick Woman barn jacket, shore coat, field jacket thing, lined in plaid wool, and I thought that was really pretty, and I saw on eBay, I did check the comps after the fact, and these barn coats go for a nice bit of money. I think I could probably get around $50 for it. And that is a size medium. All right. Next we have a pair of, don't judge me, don't yell at me, <laughs> the Miss, Miss Me jeans. Look, I've never picked up Miss Me jeans before and I thought, I really wanna try selling a pair of Miss Me jeans. I know they're not going for very much anymore, but I had, hadn't spent that much and I was like, I'm just gonna give it a try. Plus these are really pretty. Like if I was going to wear Miss Me jeans, these are the ones I would want to be wearing. Look at the pockets on them. And they're almost like new. They're a size 29 and they are boot cut as per usual with that contrasting stitching. But I just love the pockets. They have like really pretty little wings on them. So yeah, size 29 Miss Me jeans. I don't know how much I'm gonna get for these, but even if I get 30, like hopefully I can get like 30, but some of the Miss Me jeans I noticed they're comping at like $50 for the, I don't know, like the really high demand ones. So hopefully that falls in somewhere near that bracket. Next we have this coat. It is a J. Crew teddy bear coat. Look how cute this is. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it so much. And this one is an oversized size small so it's really supposed to fit you like you're you're a teddy bear here let me put it on for you oh yeah 
Yeah, I like this. Got like Anna Winterer vibes. Let's put the, the Prada glasses on. <laughs> okay. So that we have that the teddy bear coat j crew i know it's not the right season but you know what if i see something good for a really good price i'm gonna pick it up i might not list that until later on but at least i have it in my arsenal of restricted clothing okay so for this next bit <laughs> i know you're thinking this girl's flipped her lid i wanted to try my hand at selling plush and they had a lot of plush at Compassion House. The prices were, again, insanely good. And I thought, I am going to try my hand at plush. So what I did was I mentally tried to channel <laughs> a Cajun reseller. I, went, I, I, I tried to do the Vulcan mind meld with Cajun reseller while I was picking up these plush items. Let me know, Cajun reseller, how I did. Okay, because I was doing the whole my mind to your mind, my thoughts to your thoughts. <laughs> this is a 2010 Christmas Fair by Dan D. And I thought, okay, I mean, maybe I can get a few bucks for it. Maybe somebody's looking for this 2010 bear. Who knows? It's in great condition. I washed him up. He's ready to go. He's got his cute little Christmas sweater on, little hoodie. And he's a big size. He's a big size bear. So he came home with me. Next. We have, I'll do the shoes after the plush. Pusheen. I, th I think I'm keeping Pusheen because I love Pusheen. I have some Pusheen already upstairs in my room. And um, it's a unicorn Pusheen. How cute is that? So yeah, I think I'm keeping Pusheen. <laughs> Let's put Pusheen aside. <laughs> Next, we have a Little Aurora Owl. Thank you. I have no idea how these are gonna do or if they were good pickups. Cajun reseller, you let me know how I did. Yeah, so we got this little owl. We got a koala bear holding a heart. This one's by Hallmark. Cute. Next we have a bunny by Animal Playthings. And this one looks vintage. If you can see the tag. This one looks vintage to me, but I don't know. If you all are watching and you do plush, you pick up plush, please leave me your knowledge down below. I appreciate it so much when you guys do that. Okay, so next thing we have is a set of Porcupines or hedgehogs, and um, these are by Gans. Gans, and they have these cute little like tattoos on the bottom of their of their feet. See? So I thought these might be worth something because they're really nice quality. Next, we have a Gund bear. I know Gund is popular. It's a good it's a good brand and this is the mama's love bear holding a bear a bear holding a bear how cute is that I love it I love it so much so yeah I think I might be able to get a nice bit of money for this let me know what do you think how much should I list her for a bear holding a bear by God <laughs> mama's love <laughs> okay next we have a scrappy looking puppy and I, again, I picked this up because I think I remember seeing homeschooling picker. If you guys don't watch her channel, you should check her out. She has amazing energy. Her name is, the name that she goes by on YouTube is the homeschooling picker. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna link all of the people that I talk about in my videos down below. So reselling Mary Ellen, the Cajun reseller, and the homeschooling picker, all are gonna be linked down below. So you can go check out their YouTube's channel. Um, they are insanely knowledgeable and believe me, the value from the videos are amazing. So please go check them out. But anyways, I picked this little doggy up. It's like a little terrier because it has this little 
um, symbol here. And I think I remember the homeschooling picker saying that these are very valuable or somewhat valuable. So that's why I picked this little, this little guy up. Isn't he cute? He looks like a little Yorkie or a she because she's got a purple bow. But it could be a boy. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you decide. So anyway, last plushie item that I picked up was a Disney plushie. And I'm not sure which story this little guy goes to, but... I figured if it's Disney, maybe somebody is looking for this specific puppy. So yeah, it's got this little bow. Yeah, yeah Disney and then I don't know how to, I'll figure out where this belongs. The bow on it says Minnie, so I don't know. This is gonna be another fun thing that I'm gonna get into is learning about plush. Um, so next. What? Shoes. Found these at Goodwill. These are via Spiga. And they are this beautiful Victorian black boot. In really nice condition. I am going to throw some Renaissance polish on these. And um, see if I can get some of the color back on not just the leather. But hopefully I can get some of that scuffing out too. I'll try with Magic Eraser if the Renaissance polish doesn't work. Yeah, I thought these were great. I'll get you a size seven and a half. Seven and a half Victorian black boot. Via Spiga. Oh, on the bottom. Next, we have a pair of brand new Lacoste slippers. Perfect for the summer. These are a size seven. Simple thong sandals by Lacoste. Nice condition. Has a blue, red, white, and blue on the side. Okay, so I picked those up. I picked up these Sam Edelman Circus um, Espadrilles because they were so fun looking. Look at that. How cute is that? <laughs> yeah. Now I'm not sure if I can wash these espadrilles. I, I'm not, I don't, I'm tempted to because I like to wash everything. Like I even washed all of the plush that you just saw because I, uh, I'm anal about it. So I, I did, I washed it everything carefully and everything came out fine. But I'm wondering if I could, if there's a way to clean these shoes, please let me know. Like, I don't want to ruin the hemp on the bottom but I do want to clean them up a little more and make them a little bit brighter if I can. Okay, so next we have a pair of sneakers that I know nothing about, but I did hear Harry Tornado said something about these sneakers, um, this brand. Um, Harry Tornado, hi. Hi, Josh, if you're watching this, thank you for watching. But yes, he picked up a pair of Baby Keens, these little sneakers, but like in baby size, and I found the actual like big people size so I picked up these canes they're in nice condition you can see they're barely even worn I got these at the Goodwill and I'll get you a size they are a women's size six and a half cute huh yeah so yeah canes next we have a pair of Adidas sneakers that I still want to clean up some more. I clean them up a little bit, but um, I'm not great with cleaning up sneakers. So um, any tips you guys have for cleaning sneakers up to get like the dinginess out, please let me know. I did throw some OxyClean on the top of these and it didn't really do the job very well. Um, I'm wondering if I should throw them in the wash. What should I do? Help, what should I do? In pink and gray. Adidas sneakers and these were a size women's size seven and a half next we have a pair of these are like I want to say hiking 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 sandals they are a US size seven a lot of size sevens and size seven and a halves this time I swear I don't go looking for those things. It's just, it, it's what comes up. Like I will pick up almost any size 
I don't, you know, not not men's. I don't do men's stuff. That's not my that's not my jam. But I pick up women's shoes, and I don't know why this time it just seemed like they were all smaller sizes. Um, I do look for all sizes. So, anyways, get back to the video, Janine. Um, okay, these were by Rugged Outback. They are a size seven, and they were in nice condition, and they are a hiking like many many activity summer activity. <laughs> summer activity sandal and I figure somebody's gonna need these soon you know so yeah they were in good condition so I picked them up next we have a pair of vintage roller skates um why why did I pick up these vintage I don't know I thought maybe somebody could use a pair of roller skates I know like the derby the roller derby thing is back in so i was like maybe somebody's gonna want to like try skating so i picked these up these are chicago urethane um skates in a five but what i'm gonna do what i'm thinking about doing is because they're kind of like really beat up i am gonna fix them up but i'm thinking about tricking them out like maybe painting them some way or doing something really cool to them make them look amazing you know what I mean? What do you think? Should I do it? It might be fun. It might be like a fun crafting project. Trick out my skates. So yeah. Got those. And again, I picked those up at Compassion House. So if they don't sell for very much, it's okay. Like no big loss. Bag number two. How are we doing? Are we okay? Do you need to go get some water? I'll be waiting here for you if you do have to do that. Okay, next. Ooh. We have a whole bag full of stuff. Cute little top, a no name, really like, I don't think these are, this is not, this is not like a major label. I could just tell by the quality. It says, live to be spoiled. It is a size medium. And I just like the design. It's like a cropped Western design, like Aztec Western print, cropped you know like this <laughs> so I picked that up I thought that was perfect for the first summer um, I picked up a extra extra large t-shirt by T Fury but I don't know if this is extra extra large I'll check the sizing on it again I like I'll measure it and then put what I think is best but I liked this graphic but it was really cool so that's why I picked this one up. Next we have a vintage shacket. I know there's another name for this um, piece. I know you know too, so please down below in the comments. <laughs> I beg you. Okay, this is a vintage piece by Wrangler. It's a shacket. It is a size small, and I think this is a men's size small, but I will list it as a women's size medium. Okay. Actually, I could do two listings for this one, and I am gonna list it on my eBay store because these are going for good money on eBay. It's nicely lined. So yeah, shacket, plaid shacket by Wrangler. Next, we have a groovy little dress. It's like a very small dress to me, like very small. Extra small go-go dress by H&M. Next we have a really cool shirt that I'm tempted to keep, but I can't keep everything. I, you know, like this is from last week's haul. I might sell it, but I'm not done with it yet. Um, the Office Shroot Farm shirt. How cute is that? I love it. I love The Office. I had such a good time watching that series. Okay, so this is a size small, The Office Shroot Farms. It says beets, bed and breakfast, and self-defense. Next we have a vintage, what is this, apron, a vintage apron that has a couple of little stains on it, but I think I'll be able to get them out. I did wash this, but I'm going to try um, stain treating it because I didn't see these um, before I washed it. But look how cute this is. 
and it goes over the top of your head and you lace it up at the sides. Cute, huh? It reminds me of like being five years old in kindergarten and like painting because they make you wear like these little smocks. Oh, so sweet. I bought that. Pick that one up. Next we have a American Eagle Outfitters. Um, this is called the Jagging Sweater. And I like the colors on this because, you know, pink, me and pink. And this is a size small. Nice and chunky. But it's also not very heavy. Like this might be good for early spring, I think. Next we have a shirt that has a cigarette hole in it and I found it when I got home. The store that I went to, the Compassion House, is really dark as you probably noticed, or maybe I had my ISO up so you didn't notice. It's very dark in Compassion House. It's very hard to look at things in there. So I, I did miss this little moth hole or cigarette hole, but I am still gonna sell it. This is a House of Blues large shirt, and it, it's really cute. It says here, Unity in Diversity, established 1992, House of Blues shirt. And I'm just gonna put it as, um, distressed and I'll just close the hole <laughs> maybe get a couple of bucks for it um, it also says Las Vegas on the sleeve so House of Blues Las Vegas somebody will want it that hole is so small you can't hardly see it like, let me point it out to you if you're interested okay all right never mind they don't care Jenny Okay, next we have a really cute little boho top, tank top made in Nepal, and it's distressed on the back. Kind of like this tie-dye look. And it's got this cute little applique on the front. Okay, next we have, I think I'm gonna be doing a shirt bundle with these. Three shirts from Uniqlo, all size large, in mauve, in red, and in black. So I'm just gonna bundle these up. Um, I have to see what the prices are for. Um, these are really like thick, qual good quality um, shirts t-shirts by Uniqlo, so we'll see. Uh, I have a couple of vintage gowns, nightgowns. One is by Beeline in a size medium, and they are perfect for summer or spring. Look how pretty. Nylon with the frills on the sides. Yeah. Nice, very long too. Long vintage nightgown, number one. Now, long vintage nightgown number two. And I would say these are both about a medium. Okay. Let's see if I can get you. I think the tag is gone from this one. So I don't have like a. Oh, wait. Here we go. Sears, size 36. Sears, size 36. Maybe I'll bundle these too. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Chelsea? Are you watching? Should I list them on Etsy? I know um, Etsy is really good for vintage. Ooh, there's a stain. See? Another one. I think I can get it out though. Can you even see it? It's like, or I could just list it as is so I don't have to do so much work on it. I have a pile of Fix It upstairs. And I just, it's just getting bigger. <laughs> Next we have a beautiful granny square hand crocheted, hand knit um, blanket in neutral, in neutral tones. Look how gorgeous this is. And this is just like a regular um, throw size for your couch, for the back of your couch. Look, oh, colors, gorgeous colors. I love this one. So I'm gonna sell this one on eBay. And last but not least, we have a um, jacket by 
Ev Evie's, Evie's Tree. And it's called the Anne Marie Jacket. It is a size extra small. And I looked up comps for this, so um, the brand is nice. It sells for a good price. Decent. I'm going to try listing it for um, 42 and with the intention of selling it for like 32 that's what I do. I always bring up my prices a little bit because um, people always want a discount after you've, you've priced it for some reason. But anyways, it is a long sweatshirt jacket thing with embroidery on the front. Okay, I think that's everything. Yep, that's all for my haul today. Thank you so much for sticking it out. Um, please leave me some love, some comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in about a week, hopefully. <laughs> okay, everybody, take care. Thank you so much for watching, and namaste.